The thing that students often find a bit confusing is the fact that although the concentrations of everything at equilibrium are constant, they definitely do not have to be the same as each other. Remember, equilibrium is reached when the rates of forward and reverse reactions become the same. Let's imagine you have two cities, A and B, and they are joined by a railway. In city A there are 1 million people and in city B there are 2 million people. If the trains going between them constantly carry the same number of people each way, the total number of people in each city will be constant. It will never change. We could describe these two cities as in a state of dynamic equilibrium, <laughs> as weird as that may seem. The point here is that the two cities contain different numbers of people, but as the rate of exchange of people between the two is the same, the numbers don't change. It's just like this for a chemical system at equilibrium. Just like the two cities A and B have different numbers of people in, equilibrium systems in chemistry can have reactants and products that also have different concentrations. We describe the relationship between the amounts of products and reactants in the equilibrium mixture as the position of equilibrium. The more reactants there are compared to the products, the less the forward reaction is said to be favoured compared to the backward reaction, and the position of equilibrium is said to lie to the left. The more products there are in the mixture compared to reactants, the more the forward reaction is said to be favoured compared to the backward reaction, and the position of equilibrium is said to lie to the right. <laughs> to use our cities example here, it's a bit like saying that because more people are in city B at equilibrium, the position of equilibrium lies to the right. Exact ratios of products to reactants can be found using concentrations, and positions of equilibrium can be described using equilibrium constants, such as Kc and Kp. These have been covered in separate videos, check the links in the description below. It is really important to understand that positions of equilibrium aren't based on the starting concentrations or masses of reactants. Regardless of the starting amounts, after enough time, a particular reaction in a closed system will end up with the same ratio of reactant concentrations to product concentrations, if the conditions are the same. Again, this idea is outlined in a bit more detail with the video on the equilibrium constant Kc.